This time we're going to unbox a huge, huge amount of terrain in miniatures in the form of Necromunda Ash Waste. Alright, so here we go. Coffin box. Large coffin box. As you can see, I've got a fairly decent haul, and because I'm a glutton for punishment, I picked up another box of the Ash Waste Nomads as well. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do that, uh, that sweet, sweet unboxing and that sweet, sweet plastic removal. Um, honestly, if, if I didn't mute the audio to record over it, I would uh, definitely have the... Uh, <laughs> I would have the plastic noises. So, uh, in this particular re release, um, obviously we're getting some terrain, we're getting some uh, vehicles, but look at the size of this thing. It is massive. And and just to give you like a, a comparison here, that's the card deck. It's like stood the hell up. This is, I, I think this is actually bigger than the Dark Uprising box, but I'm not sure. And um, so this is the uh, first time we're seeing the ash wastes in this particular iteration of Necromunda. We have not ventured outside of the hives yet. And let me tell you, you know, it doesn't look like a whole lot of terrain and a whole lot of sprues when you first look at the ad on, you know, the website. You look at the, uh, you know, the, the entry on the GW page. But there is a lot to unpack. So that particular sprue that I just put to the side are the accessories for the Habs. And of course you have the age-old templates. And then we have the small platform with uh, some of the walkways. And uh, those small platforms, honestly, even though they're tiny, are kind of my favorite. So we have the Hab floor along with the struts and the assembly and you get two uh, I'm sorry you get three of the large and two of the smalls here um, so along with that once we get this out of here uh, you are going to get the tops of the halves as well so the tops, there's only two tops that come in here, so there, there's going to be only two sprues. But you get the um, Ash Waste Nomads, which we are from, we have not seen yet. You get two sprues of those, just like in any, any normal Necromunda gang box. And then you get two sprues of the old familiar Orlock gang. And this one, of course, anyone who has played Necromunda or put together some of the the models will be familiar with these guys. You get two sprues of the bugs, the dustback helamites, and you uh, can build four bugs off of those. Um, each of these sprues here, that makes one of the orlock buggies, the little quads. Um, that, let me tell you, that was a pain. To put together there were a lot of small pieces some of the instructions were a little bit vague we'll go over that later um, you get one sprue of the barricades and objectives anybody who's bought a large box of necromunda stuff should know what that is and then we move on to the of course the hab sides and the lids and as i said you get two sprues of those as well those are a little wonky put to put together but once you get the first one done it's a lot better uh, moving on of course you get the nice pretty artwork on the insert here that keeps the sprues from damaging the books and the board or in this case the poster um, you get the poster of the outdoor ash waste uh, this it's nice it's nice I kind of wish it had been I don't know. I I had uh, I mean it, I understand why they would do it to save money or whatnot, but I don't know. I've always been more fond of the of neoprene mats. Now, as I'm pointing out here and as other people have pointed out, do not throw away your instructions because it gives you your initial gang lists. 
Um, so for the Ash Waste Nomads, there's nowhere else right now to get the stats for these guys but this book. So do not get rid of it. The Orlocks, of course, um, they have their own book, so you can get the stats for the Orlocks out of that book. Uh, this is honestly the real reason why I picked up the Ash Waste. I mean, the rest of it's cool and all, but I really wanted to get a hold of this updated book, the updated rule book. <clears throat> and of course, you get the, uh, the age old tokens. And underneath the cardboard insert, we have the remainder of the hall uh, to include the dice along with, and, and don't discard these as just something you don't need because the vehicle dice are in here too. And that's something we have not seen in any, any other release because there have never been any vehicles. Um, you get your bases, of course. You get your floppy ruler, which is useful and you get your regular bases. Now keep in mind these are not the normal Zone Mortalis bases. These are just the regular bases because obviously you're out in the ash wastes and you're going to base it a little bit different. And then we get your cards that have your trade routes and your territories and some ash waste tactics. Now these these are different from the cards that you get in the box for the Ash Waste Nomads and the Orlocks. So that is one thing to keep in mind. These are just generic Ash Waste tactics and vehicle tactics and territories for playing the Ash Waste campaign. Along with the obligatory uh, blank cards as well. So you, you're going to get quite a few blanks for not only your gangs, but for your vehicles. And these things, honestly, uh, they, they have, I'm sure they come in handy, but I've never used them. <laughs> because I always just create my gangs on Yak Tribe and print out the whole gang and the sheets and everything. Um, so to differentiate here of course the tactics cards have tactics cards written on the back of them so that's fair enough and then you have your uh, the territories and routes now the the tactics I'm not going to go over each individual card obviously because that would extend the uh, video out way far but I'll just do kind of a, a quick overview of all the cards that you get here Again, as with the cards, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go over everything in here. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to read the book verbatim. Uh, you definitely need to see it yourself. The um, 
it's it's definitely worth the buy for the updated rules because it is the latest and greatest obviously they're going to re release an errata for something here soon they always do I mean you know we're all human we all make mistakes or whatnot but um, f as of right now this is the most up-to-date source of rules for Necromunda it's got all of your um, campaign information the basic rules and uh, of course along with that you get two uh, reference sheets and that these reference sheets have mostly the information for the vehicles and the changes for the vehicle portion of Necromunda um, and of course the 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 tokens you get are just the regular tokens that came in the last two releases so no big change there the um, now for that the ash waste book as always uh, the art is great the only thing that I kind of have any sort of issue with is the background that they use for the books and it's kind of busy and quite honestly you know I'm, I'm already uh, halfway blind as it is so sometimes it's kind of hard for me to tell what word is what and what belongs where when I'm reading this book or any of the Necromunda books because of that that extra texture in the background but aesthetically it's it looks good it's pleasing otherwise other than that uh, now onto the sprues I'm just kind of looking getting an overview and uh, I also have begun putting together the terrain now this stuff is modular you can actually build it however you wish you can make these platforms as tall as you want you can glue them or not now I went ahead and glued them and I built them the way it it uh, it says to build them in the manual just because I I just like the way it looks now you if you do leave this stuff you know uh, open for interpretation or whatnot um, I mean it's it's a good thing so it gives you options and flexibility uh, one thing I will say is if you do glue the stuff you can set those little cables in first and then glue them afterward kind of helps now this is the the completed terrain um, I do have some additional videos that I might put in here but for the most part I mean the, this stuff is really easy to put together all of the instructions are very concise you can make it as complex or non-complex as you want you don't even have to use all the sprues and accessories if, if you just want some basic terrain or if you if you want to make it modular don't glue anything down just kind of slot everything in I mean this stuff really does uh, look really good quite honestly so here's just a general overview and I have had to switch mics all that that I just recorded was a little bit low uh, so now that I'm not on potato mic um, the terrain once built is amazing super super duper modular the uh, the tops of the hab buildings come off it, and it's kinda hard to do with one hand but um, <laughs> the the tops come off so don't glue them down the inside is fully playable the uh, the little stems you see coming out of the platforms can be glued or not you can actually leave them off and it would be just fine and uh, they can be extended high or low even these little guys can be high or low the little railings are modular the ladders are modular the bridges are modular and I really like the way that Games Workshop designed this terrain this time it it just it just it works it works way way better than some other stuff that I've seen it's a little spendy but in my opinion it's worth it you know just for the little details like the canopy there right and then little side um, platform that you can put on and the doors that you can put on the side of the in, you know inside of the Habs now it does make some of this stuff kind of fiddly but I think it's worth it so um, sorry for the potato mic but if you like what you've seen feel free to join me on patreon and on discord and support the channel like and subscribe hit the bell button and uh, just want to say I appreciate all of you thank you very much for watching